Um, well, in simplest terms, is we'll be offering an open stack subscription. Yeah. Um, sometime, hopefully not too far in future. Yeah. We don't even, actually, it's not like I'm even heard of, it's just we're still doing re release planning. Sure, sure. Um, so what we've got is, um, you know, we just need to see the foundation stuff get sorted. And, um, you know, the, now that the foundation yeah. stuff is getting um, open, you know, it's, you know, we, we took the risk to put a development team on it starting last summer. Um, because, I, you know, Rackspace was saying all the right things about wanting to create a more open foundation. Yeah. And once they just started saying that's where we want to go, I was willing to start reassigning developers to the project. And um, today I think we're either third or second biggest developer second. behind it. Yeah. I think it's, if they started counting, because we do the stable trees, yeah. then yeah. then it's second. Um, um, but it doesn't really matter. It yeah. just means we're re very active. And um, and so that, um, and now that they're, you know, I'm involved in all the, I go out and do the, it's not a board yet because it's not the foundation isn't real yet. Sure. But um, um, the one representing us on and all the board discussions, um, you know, we just worked with um, um, just work. I just worked with the Rackspace team to make um, the, all the trademark licensing around OpenStack um, to be much more. Um, uh, what's the right word? Um, to be much more liberal rather than restrictive. You know, yeah. and I think that's really going to be really valuable. For um, the OpenStack brand sure. to, to be used pervasively, as yeah. opposed to you could use it if you do this, this, and this, and this. And, yeah. Um, and then, and so, so we've got the development team. We got the contributions we're making. Um, the foundation is going in the right place. Um, hopefully, that gets launched in the next month or two. Um, we've got a set of packages. We've already packaged up um, up um, a set of RPMs that work on top of RHEL 6.3 right now, and those are available as part of Apple. So we've already got customers today taking. Red Hat package, OpenStack, okay. on top of RHEL 6.3, and going through all the POC stuff. And we're engaging with on that. There just isn't an, an SO. There's not money changing hands or official support changing hands on it today. And then, Makes sense. So we're really, now we're just looking at, what you have to do now, if you want to do, we have to look at it and say, um, like RHEL, when we started RHEL, you know, when I sort of built the SLA on RHEL in the early days, I mean, on the whiteboard, built the model and said, okay, once we do a version, how long can we support somebody on that version of RHEL? And then when the next one comes out, how soon does the next one come out? Yeah. What does that mean to support on the old version? Yeah. So I, when we designed that in the early days, um, the um, um, it was a very short, you know, support life lifetime. Yeah, yeah. And because you couldn't afford, we company, you couldn't afford, and the technology wasn't stable. Sure, enough. sure. We're kind of so what I'm trying to figure out now is OpenStack is saying, okay, when you come out the, with the version that comes out, say it comes out this fall. Yeah. Right. How long do you support that in production? And then when the next version comes out, you know what I mean. How quickly do they have to move to that? We're not we're not ready to be the industry's not ready to be in the enterprise Linux model yet because the code is developing yeah. so rapidly. So you know, for us to say, okay, we've got Essex, a version of Essex in production, and we're going to support it for ten years. We won't even have any customers ten years on it because they're going to want to move yeah. through because the capability is advancing too much. So we're trying to design what that support lifetime looks like right now. So in the interim, we're just working with customers on the on the code stack. Now what you guys uh, pioneered on the Linux kernel, of course, is the whole concept of backward porting. Yeah. Can that same kind of model yeah, work here? Yeah, you'll have to. You have to. Yeah. Because if because if a customer like that's why you know I get endless notes from Jim Curry and the other guys at yeah. Rackspace because of what we're doing on the stable tree. We're kind of, we are backporting. We're, we're kind of doing it on the stable tree right now. Yeah. We're doing it publicly, right? So you'll yeah. see like they, they just I just got the notes on. It's funny I find out about it from Rackspace. They send me notes on what we're doing for. And it's just we just go through the list of all the yeah. back of all the bugs that were we fixed, and some of them we just fix on the stable branch. Some of them, were, when we'll fix a bug, same way we do with Linux, we'll put it on the stable version as well as put it on the future version. You got to do both. Yeah. Um, so you have you have to because otherwise, um, customers can't deploy. They deploy, they hit a bug, and you're saying, okay, you got to upgrade. That's like going to Fedora every you know, every six months, and I do because I'm. You know, yeah, I'm all, I'm all in on it, but I know it's, I didn't do it before I came to the show because it said I thought maybe yeah. it might take me a couple of days to get it sorted out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll have to, um, so we'll look at it as like, okay, when we got a stream, we'll absolutely have to backport, um, you know, so customers can stay on it without having to move forward. But then at some point in time, you got to move forward. And that's what we're trying to figure out. At what point in time do we tell the customers, now you got to go to the next version because you can't, we can't keep having, we can't, and with, when the releases yeah. are coming out every six months, do we, product has every release, you know, yeah. do we skip a release? 
that's that's the one you guys productize stuff too you always do these uh, mega awesome bundles not not mega shift but you know the same kind of idea where everything is all together um when you're looking at that kind of tech yeah. planning is there some kind of similar bundle where it would be open an open stack uh, i guess what the open stack guys call the reference architecture currently the reference Could architecture be. is still there on open i think what we want to do is i think the model that we want to do is we're, we're exploring so you know we'll get stuff wrong and we'll fix it but yeah i think the model that, that i'd like to see is that discrete subscriptions that that um, almost like all these things are swiss army knives right yeah. so um rel is a swiss army knife you can deploy it with proprietary storage or open storage or on the cloud or otherwise. So yeah. I think what we want to do is we want to offer our, our all of our subscriptions unbundled so then customers with services can configure it in a model that works for them. Then we also want to offer pre-integrated solution stacks. So with OpenStack, I think what you'll see is us do both. We'll offer an independent subscription of, of you know, Red Hat OpenStack, let's say if we call it that. Yeah. Maybe we'll call it that now that the trademarking is um, getting more lenient. Yeah. Um, so you probably see a Red Hat OpenStack subscription, which which consists of the stuff that you would expect yep. from upstream OpenStack, um, and then we might offer a solution down the road that has you know RHEL with that, um, you know it has could have RHEL with it, could have Gluster with it even. Um, those would make a lot of sense to put those yeah. three things together, and then maybe we put cloud forms on top as well to integrate it in a hybrid. But you just got to watch sort of the pricing thing on it. If you make if you put too much stuff together. And people don't need all of that, then you're over your yeah, you should have, you should, Because the Rackspace guys have essentially a Rackspace private edition. You guys could do the same thing, but you've got everything from operating system pass all the way up. Yeah, you and, need that. You, you need blow them out. Because what Rackspace right now is they don't have the they don't have the Linux side, so they have to. They partner with Ubuntu today. They'll have to partner with. Yeah. They'll partner with Ubuntu, and and um, and we've got a um, we've developed over the over the past months an amazing relationship with Rackspace. Yeah. Um, so Red Hat and Rackspace, the relationship couldn't be better as far as yep. I'm concerned Good. right now. Um, but we haven't done anything like that yet together. So we're working together in some customer environments, but there's not an official sort of relationship. Understood.